good morning everyone yes i did just wake up <laughs> um today i have to go to the office because we just did our mother's day sale and our free gift with purchase sale and we just launched a small new collection i'm trying to release more pieces like every two weeks but we have so many fun launches coming up that it's hard to like plan everything out because i want to just like post everything right away like we have our pillowcases we have this whole amazing collection we have our watch relaunch which i get dms every day like basically yelling at me <laughs> being like i want a watch where is the watch trust me i wish i had a watch because we made them like 10 times better the whole design process and like deciding what size diamond i want on the watch what color gold i want on the watch what color face the font everything that takes like a month and a half between my designer and me because i just wanted to be perfect and it was actually really like after seeing the watches last time which i loved there were a few things that i wanted to change we did order double the amount we did last time because i want to have them in stock like i don't want them to sell out so i'm hoping well if they sell out great but i'm, I'm hoping that they can stay in stock so raining outside today it's been rainy and gloomy the past few days which i actually don't mind when i'm working inside there's nothing worse than working inside and looking out your window and birds are chirping and kids are screaming and people are playing it's like really depressing so i actually don't mind when it's gloomy but i wanted to take you guys uh well i'm going to work so maybe i'll show you a few things there i very seldomly show my office but maybe i'll show you guys a few things there and then i want to take you guys to see my house for the first time so there still is only a foundation but i want to block the entire process i know it's interesting to some of you not interesting to um others but in case you are looking to build your house uh like i said i didn't build it fully custom i built it with a contractor so and they were doing like this whole development so i didn't get to pick absolutely everything i didn't pick the layout but the things that really matter to me like the floor the kitchen and everything were like exactly i got to pick them exactly how i wanted like the outside of my house is not my exactly the dream house but um it's still beautiful and i am so lucky to be able to be building my house so i was able to look past that but yeah i wanted to show you guys the foundation and what we have going on so you can kind of keep along and keep track with me so i'm going to go show you guys that it's a little bit awkward i'm going to go after 4 p.m when the construction people um oh i have to give you guys an update i have to go um after 4 p.m after like the construction men and women leave so i'm not sitting there with my vlogging camera and they're all staring at me with like huge trucks and hard hats i don't know i actually haven't driven by in a while so i don't know if they've changed anything um so far they are building a lot of houses though i don't think i'm a priority right now because she said that half of the houses are being delivered at construction holiday which i think is in july and the um, other half is being delivered after which is like my portion so yeah i don't think they're like really focusing on my house right now but that's okay i've also been really enjoying doing these like this ice machine i kind of have blocked it out right now at this point like i've had it for so long but when i'm editing it is so annoying <laughs> oh i have to show you guys something so i my sister the other day when i was at work i was like i, I told her i was feeling very stressed and she was like why don't you take a bath with epsom salt and i was like i just i, I don't really like baths anymore I found a way to like really enjoy baths and then she was like if you put epsom salt you're gonna love it and she gave me some epsom salt and it was so good it smelled so good i also realized that i only like it when the bath is filling because of like the tap water sound <laughs> so it sounds crazy but i play a bath tap water sound on my computer i just really enjoy that like soothing like white noise i guess and then i also have to be drinking like cold water while i'm in there because i like my baths being really hot hot so i um loved epsom salt so much that i went to the uh, pharmacy yesterday i had to pick up this which is a cream for my scar on my chin which i still have stary strips on it but i picked up all of these different kinds <gasps> melatonin eucalyptus shea butter and i got bubble bath i am packing an order 
and this person ordered a cereal milk clip which is actually very very pretty and a new Shador bracelet I'll put the Shador bracelet in a little bag this is the little bag so we're gonna put the card on top and then we close it up and put a little sticker I want to show you guys this little order I'm gonna nestle them in better to make sure they don't move around tulip creme brulee cream Petunia, strawberry milk, life in plastic, and mother of pearl. It's like a very nice pinky box. Okay, so I love that box so much that I decided we're gonna do a little giveaway. You can win this whole box, so all of those clips, and then also a rose gold nail bracelet, a rose Jador bracelet, and a rose mask. So if you wanna win this, just leave a comment letting me know you wanna win it, and I'll pick it in my next video. It's Cinco de Mayo, so we're having a little Mexican fiesta. fiesta. This is our Mexican rice from a, from a box. Allie's outside cooking the chicken. She's coming in with the chicken. That the lighting looks, doesn't look the best, but in the per in that looks no, amazing. It looks so good, and it smells so good. She followed a recipe. I saw it a while ago, a guy who said he worked at Chipotle, and it was super easy to do. I just did it in my Nutribullet. Just the adobo chilies, oregano, cumin, chili peppers, salt, pepper, water. It was really and good. That, it's really it good. It smells really good. And I, I mean, I'm not gonna get into my whole thing about my new meal prep idea, but. You can vlog that. <laughs> I can vlog that myself. Is this one of the things you're gonna, the seasonings you're gonna use on your meal prep? Maybe on my souvlakis, but I'll do, oh, I'll do different marinades. Oh my God, I just missed the train. That is like the best feeling ever i swear i get caught at the train like three times a week and it's always the longest train ever i love going into the office and packing orders like it just brings me so much joy you know, office days are my favorite days like don't get me wrong i love filming youtube videos but I, it's just like so fun going into the office with nikki and ali i also don't have to get ready my schedule is and has been for the past few months monday wednesday friday are office days so i go into the office or um we do photo shoots or whatever like those are the office days but ali works at the office five days a week and then on tuesday and thursday they're my filming days so i try to film as many videos as possible on those two days so this is the basement i guess That's the garage. I'm trying not to show everything around. Hmm. Okay. You think he approves? So this is, I don't even know. What would that be? This is, uh, what, the pipe? Yeah. Could be your water in. I'm not sure, though. Do you <gasps> need water? What? Garage. There's sand in the garage. Why do they put sand in there? Inside. It's a window. That's a Leo. Hello. Yo, I thought I would show something I don't normally show. I'm actually working on taking some product pictures for our new silk pillowcases. If you're wondering what that noise is in the back, it's my steamer. So I as of right now, take all the pictures for the website. I do have to like work with what I have right now. Eventually when I move, sorry, I'm gonna turn my steamer off. As you guys know, I am moving in September. My house is supposed to be ready in September, fingers crossed, because you never know how that stuff is gonna go. But my landlord wouldn't let me get rid of this lease. I had to sign it for a whole other year. And it actually worked out perfectly because we're gonna use this space as the CNC office. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that, but he didn't want to let me get out of my lease and I didn't want to just stick around paying the rent for no reason. So we're gonna move the CNC office into here and I'm super excited because this downstairs area is going to be all like packing and order filling because we are busting out of our current office and then upstairs in all of the rooms, I want to do like different 
photo shoot areas so i want to have one room with like a white backdrop so i can take product shots because it's really hard to take product shots right now so that is the plan but until then i'm taking pictures out of my apartment and i have to get creative so i'm taking like i said pictures of the silk pillowcases that we're launching i feel kind of dumb because i had a rack for um like a photo shoot rack and to like hang a white backdrop but i gave it away because i was like i'm never gonna use this and lo and behold i really need it so this is what we've come to you guys we draped a white sheet over my credenza and we are steaming it so i steamed it there here are the pillowcases this one is rose it is so beautiful this one obviously is black we have ivory which is so beautiful and these the size of them i made them a standard pillowcase size but they also fit on a king size bed this if you guys are wondering um guarantees that there's no like harmful chemicals in your pillowcase and then we have caramel and then each pillowcase comes with a matching scrunchie so for the price you get a pillowcase and a scrunchie and then these are our pillowcase boxes these are super cute i'm super happy with how ooh, what is on that i'm super happy with how these came out normally i'm pretty good at figuring this out so i'm going to finish steaming this and then we'll see if taking pictures works out. Okay, I'm taking a little break from taking pictures, which is proving to be a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. To open this, this is, I got sent a package from Bodhi. They are all apparently very easy on your digestive system. I've seen this all over TikTok. Apparently they're all bloat free and they're made with like the best ingredients and don't cause you, cause you any digestive discomfort. I do have a coupon, it's Tony15, but that's just for you, like it's not an affiliate code or anything. But I have been seeing this all over TikTok, so I'm super excited to see what is in here. Ooh, a sweatshirt. Some, ooh, a snack bar. I'm definitely gonna try that because I am getting hungry. Dark chocolate sea salt. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Definitely trying these chips, kettle cooked potato chips in pink Himalayan salt. And this one is in barbecue. You can see they have no onion and no garlic. Those don't hurt my stomach, but. I know it hurts a lot of people's stomachs, so some hand sanitizer. What is all of this? Oh, is this like good packaging? Okay, I'm gonna unpack everything and then I'll show you guys what it all is. I'm so excited. So we have some fire roasted salsa, garlic infused olive oil, arbiata, marinara sauce, chipotle, barbecue sauce i'm so excited about that and tomato basil i kind of want to try this salsa because there's no onion and no garlic in it and i just want to try that sweating up a storm in here okay it's like pretty early still but i'm hungry i'm gonna try this with a little of these chips Oh, it smells so good. Oh, they look so good. They're like nice and brown and toasty. Okay, I know that you're not supposed to really eat this with this, but whatever. Mmm, that would be so good on like a taco. It tastes very fresh, like very not processed very and these kettle cook chips are made with avocado oil hey guys okay so it is now 7 p.m i never made it to the office but that's okay i swear this is what happens on photo shoot days it takes me a few hours to figure out the move and like how to actually properly photograph it and then once i do that it's easy to take pictures of it if it's a new product like for the watches when i was taking pictures of them 
it took me like a long time to figure out how to get it proper and then once i did it was easy <laughs> thank you leah <laughs> so same thing went for the pillowcases it took me like so long to figure out how to get it done and then i had like a mini panic attack and <laughs> nikki and ali came over um to help for a little bit yeah i was really stressed today because i wanted to launch them tomorrow and i had this idea of how the pictures i wanted them to look so i was really stressed all day but i ended up using both this studio and i made a studio upstairs on my bed so this is what i ended up using this for sorry the lights are bad now but i took some pompous grass and um a little vase and i made a little scene and i shot this little clip and, sh and took a few pictures of that and then for the actual pillowcase pictures i took them upstairs because they were easier i just did the same thing um on my headboard on my bed so yeah it ended up working out but it was a little bit stressful so i've just been sitting here editing the pictures um like oh 7 30 now so i've been sitting here editing since i want to say like five um and i'm actually really happy with how they turned out so i'll show you this is how oh my screen is so dirty but this is how the pictures turned out i'm only completely done the caramel one so i wanted to get like a picture of the silk with like to show the real color and then i wanted to get a picture of like the actual box and then i wanted to get a picture of it like on the pillowcase like that so that's what i ended up getting so i have to do that for each but for the other ones like for the black i just used this picture and made it black but then i took the other pictures with the actual real black pillowcase and then i have the ivory and the pink i didn't get to show you guys um as much as i wanted to because i was in my own little world but that's basically what I do for photo shoot days. So left to do tonight, I have to finish editing all the pictures and then I want to create a new banner on the website for um, pillowcases. So we'll see what time I end up finishing this. I wanted to um, edit a video tonight, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Like, I have to clean up this whole mess of a house. <laughs> because it, it's just nuts, it's nuts. I'm, I'm lucky that a messy house doesn't bother me because I can see this being very bothersome for people. My hair is so dirty. I'm getting my extensions done um, on Wednesday and I wanted to film tomorrow, but I just, I don't really wanna wash my hair before I get my extensions done, if you know what I mean. So we shall see. Does anyone else plan their whole week and days and what they're doing around their hair washing? <laughs> Like I that I plan my whole week. I plan my life around when I wash my hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so good morning everyone or good afternoon I should say. I'm getting a later start to the day. Are you gonna wanna come back inside like you usually do? I'm getting a later start at the day because I just need to. Sometimes you just need to take a, a little bit of a chill, relaxed morning. Um, yesterday I was experiencing some pretty bad anxiety. I've been having really bad anxiety. I think it's because, I don't even know what it's because, but I feel like at the beginning of like the first quarantine or at the beginning of all of this, I was like doing really well. I was focusing on myself. I was like doing good. This time, like in the second wave of quarantine where Canada's in quarantine and the U.S. is not, I think it's really hard for me to see all these people like going on trips and going to restaurants and literally nothing is open in Quebec and being stuck at home is wearing on me. All the things that I was doing that would bring me joy throughout the quarantine from home, they're old now. They're old. I can only make iced coffee so exciting, which actually I want to show you guys something before it gets old. This morning I was doing some work on the computer for the watch collection. Do you know what happened? A freaking wasp, a wasp, my door was open because it was nice and airy. A wasp this big, okay, not kidding, like fits in the palm of my hand, flies over and lands right next to me on my table. Doesn't even stay at the window. 
comes and lands right next to me. Now, if it was like a nice bumblebee or a honeybee, I can live with it. A wasp? I've never been stung by a bee or a wasp and I don't plan to be anytime soon. Today was certainly not the day. So I got up so quickly, ran to my bathroom, hid in the bathroom. I was like watching through a little crack in the door and he just flew around and then flew out. It was like a very polite wasp. I still don't know what wasps do in society. I feel like they're just kind of evil. My sister has lilac trees. <laughs> Okay, that's enough attitude today. My sister has lilac trees at her house and she gave me some and they smell so flipping good. Having live, having flowers in my house just makes me feel so much better. So I think I'm gonna actually start buying flowers for myself, like not really expensive flowers, but if I see flowers that I like, I'm going to get them because they just make me really happy. I also started intermittent fasting starting Sunday night. I, for me, that's always just like worked really well. Not only to like lose weight, but just how I feel. Not even for a weight loss thing, but just for like a how I feel thing. I wake up feeling like a slug, like so behind, um, so lethargic. So I started doing intermittent fasting. I really was kind of doing it unknowingly, um, but I've made it a point to actually stick to like the full 16 hours of fasting, which is 7.30 to 11.30, which is kind of, the only thing I have to move back is my coffee, but I'm able to drink black coffee. So I have been drinking black coffee because it has zero calories. If you know me, you know that I like 90% of my coffee <laughs> to be creamer. I like creamer with a dash of coffee instead of coffee with a dash of creamer. Like I am a creamer. Freak. So switching to black coffee is um, it's an adjustment. It's not something that I am enjoying. But I want to make like a real iced coffee because I've been doing these things. As I just said, like I can only make iced coffee so interesting. Yesterday I received these like cute little ice trays and I've been making iced coffee differently. So I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so I like making my coffee in my mason jars. And what I've been doing is mixing some creamer with um, a little bit of my syrups that I got. This one's from Winners. It's just a caramel sugar-free syrup. I put it in a container and mix it and like shake it and make it nice and foamy. I don't do this every day, but sometimes I'll put like caramel, ooh, it's a mess, along the edge of the glass. So we'll just do a little bit today for fun because I think it looks nice. Then I got these ice cube trays from Amazon. Okay, so we have our ice. I'm going to add my cold brew into that. And then I'm going to add my creamer mixture and stir it up. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is take this little thing and fill it with cold brew. So that way my ice chips are coffee and as they melt, they don't dilute the coffee, they just make more coffee. So I'm gonna do that now. This is obviously not needed, it's just ice, but I think when I make them as coffee, that will be a real game changer. Okay, so here are my coffee little ice cubes I'm going to freeze. I put a tiny little bit of XCT oil that people use for bulletproof coffee to see if that would make it um, prevent the coffee from sticking to the molds because my sister said that coffee got sticky when it was frozen, I don't know. Maybe that will help. I didn't really have an issue getting them out because I ran them back under warm water for a few seconds and popped them out onto a plate which was easier than trying to pop them into my glass. So I'm gonna freeze these and I'll let you guys know how it turns out. I just got a box from Zara and I ordered a few of their makeup things because I wanted to test it out. I also ordered a dress because I saw my friend Michelle wearing this dress and I knew I needed it. So it's this one that was like really, oh, this looks like it's gonna be too small. I got an extra small. I don't know if it's gonna be too small. Okay. I, it's this really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dress. She was wearing it and it looked so good. I never know what Zara's sizing. I was debating between the small and the extra small, so I'll try this on and see, but it's just, it's so pretty, so pretty. And then, this is the makeup. Okay, so 
so I ordered a face palette. And then I also ordered a lip balm. Ooh, interesting packaging. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is the cheek palette. It looks like this. Impeccable touch cheek palette. Ooh, how weird. There's no like name or anything on it. How weird is that? There's like nothing on it. It's just white. Okay. So this little sticker looks like it says you can take this out. Oh, you can. Okay, so you can take this out. This like all they all come out. So I think you can buy refills for the certain ones because it's showing you that you can take this out and then you can pop out the little pans. I don't know if I want to try that, but you can pop out the little pans if you want to, I guess like if you run out of one. So you have these three colors. So a bronzer that actually looks very nice a blush let me see if i can get actual like good color swatches they actually feel very nice and soft like this would be really good to travel with and this is like a, a setting highlight powder so i thought this was going to be shimmery it's not shimmery at all and then this is what they look like bizarre huh this would actually be really good to throw in your purse um, or if you're traveling because you have a blush, bronzer, and like a setting powder. I thought it was a highlight, but there's no shimmer in it. Oh, okay. Then I ordered a lip balm, a hollow balm. I was gonna order a lipstick, again, same packaging, but none of the colors looked like that amazing. Okay, again, super, super bizarre packaging. Oh, okay, so that is just magnetic. And then I think they give you this to put in. Then this is, oh, oh no. I didn't realize this was going to be, have like sparkles in it. Look at that, it says Zara on it. How cute is that? I don't know how good this is going to be, but it's pretty freaking cute if you ask me. Okay, so it smells really good. It smells like vanilla, like I want to eat it. Okay, I'm gonna set it on. It feels good. I just don't, I wish it didn't have sparkles in it. I guess I should have realized it's literally called hollow, hollow bomb or whatever. Oh no. It feels really nice, I have to say. I just don't know if I, I love the sparkles. But I'm excited to try this. I'm gonna use it when I get ready tomorrow. I tried putting on makeup before and you know you have those days where it just like, nothing is going right, like your skin isn't looking right. And recently I've been feeling better and more confident without any makeup on. Like I just feel better about myself, which is something I never thought I would say. So I took my makeup off, did put some good skincare on. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go try this dress on because I'm a little bit scared that it's gonna be way too small.